Let's practice identifying equivalent algebraic expressions together. For each of these practice problems, we're going to go ahead and prove which of the following algebraic expressions are equivalent, or meaning that they are the same or have the same value. And we're going to do this by simplifying or rewriting each of the expressions. For number one, we have the expression here of 8 times the quantity of x plus 4. If we want to go ahead and rewrite this right away, we actually can by distributing this 8. There is more than one method to go ahead and do these problems, though. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and distribute as one strategy here. 8 times x, that's going to be 8x. And then 8 times 4, that's going to be 32. So we have 8x plus 32. Now let's take a look at answer choice A first here. Let's see if this is the same expression or not. I think pretty straightforward. We could go ahead and just distribute this 5 to both of these terms here. 5 times x, that's going to be 5x. 5 times 4, that's going to be plus 20. Okay, we have a plus sign here, so let's keep on going. Then we can distribute this 3 to the x here, and then 3 to this 4. So 3 times x, that's going to be 3x. And then 3 times 4, that's going to be 12. All right, so if we go ahead and combine some like terms here, we can see hopefully that this uh, 5x and 3x are going to combine to make 8x. Okay, and then afterwards, we can go ahead and combine this positive 20 and positive 12 to make positive 32. So you can see here that this expression of 8x plus 32 does equal this original expression of 8x plus 32. So for answer choice A, we're going to say this is equivalent. Yes. For B, let's go ahead and see if we distribute this 9 to both of these terms over here. 9 times 1x, that's going to be 9x. 9 times 4, that's going to equal 36. And then we're going to go ahead and make sure we're distributing this negative 1 that's in front here to this x and to this 4 over here. So negative 1 times x is going to be negative x, or you can write plus negative x. And then negative 1 times positive 4, we could write plus negative 4, or we can just write minus 4. Okay, whatever works for you there. Now, if we combine this 9x and take away 1x, 9x take away 1x, that's going to be a total of 8x. And then if we take this 36 and take away 4, 36 minus 4 is going to be 32. So we get 8x plus 32, which matches the 8x plus 32 up here. So we know this is also an equivalent expression. For answer choice C, we have this 8x plus 32, which is exactly what we had when we distributed. So we know that this one worked, so we don't really have to do anything for that. Finally, for option D, we have this 40x. That must have come from combining this 8x plus 32. But keep in mind that these are not like terms, so you cannot combine those. Looking back at the original problem, if you notice that there were eight of these x plus fours, keep in mind that if you had five of these x plus fours and you added on three more of these x plus fours, you would have gotten eight of those x plus fours. So hopefully that one makes sense. And for answer choice B, if we have nine of these x plus fours, and we're really taking away one of these x plus fours, nine of them take away one of them should mean that we do have eight of those x plus fours as well. So keep in mind that you could use that strategy as well for options A and B. Let's check out number two. For number two, we have the expression of 3x minus 5 plus 3x minus 5 plus 3x minus 5 plus 3x minus 5. Keep in mind that we have this quantity of 3x minus 5 being added four times here, right? So if you wanted to, you could rewrite this expression instead of writing it that, that way. We could say that we have four of these 3x minus 5s, okay? So that would be an equivalent expression here. And if you wanted to go ahead and distribute or combine the like terms, however you want to deal with that, 4 times 3x, that would be a total of 12x. And then 4 times that negative 5 would be a negative 20, right? So this would be the original expression here. If you wanted to combine this 3x plus 3x plus 3x plus 3x, that would equal this 12x. And if you wanted to subtract, take out this negative 5 and negative 5 and negative 5 and negative 5, 4 negative 5s will make this negative 20 over here. So this is the original expression over here on the left, this 12x minus 20 in simplest terms. For answer choice A, let's go ahead and take this expression of 4x plus 7 plus 8x minus 27. Let's go ahead and just combine some like terms to simplify it. So 4x plus 8x, that's going to be a total of 12x. So far, so good. And then if we take this uh, positive 7 and then we add this negative 27 or just take away 27, that's going to equal negative 20. So this one does work because we get the same expression of 12x minus 20. And so that matches the original. 
For b, we have 12x plus 20. Now that's not gonna be the same thing as 12x minus 20 because one has a plus and one has a minus. So if we take the look at this expression of 12x plus 20, we can go ahead and say that that would not be equivalent to that original expression we were given. For answer choice C, we have this 12x minus 20. We actually already got that when we distributed, so that should work out for us really well, so that should be nice and easy. We know that that does match, so that is equivalent. For answer choice D, we have this expression of four times the quantity of 3x minus five. I kind of already showed this earlier, but if you go ahead and distribute this, we should get the same thing that we currently have, which is going to be this 12x minus 20. And hopefully that makes sense because uh, that is what we got when we rewrote this using the distributive property above here. So that's what we got right over here. So hopefully this makes sense that this first expression works. The second expression over here does not work just because we have a plus instead of a minus, right? Uh, for answer choice C, that's if you go ahead and combine all the like terms, and D is if you rewrite it using the distributive property. Let's check out number three. So for number three here, let's see what we got. We have this expression of negative 3x plus 8 plus 9x minus 20, okay? Let's go ahead and simplify this a bit. So let's combine some like terms. If we have negative 3x plus 9x, that's going to be a total of 6x. Let's go ahead and write this as equal to 6x. And then if we combine this positive 8 and negative 20 together, that's going to be a negative 12. So you could write plus negative 12 or just write minus 12. All right, for answer choice A, we have this 5x minus 11. So if I write 5x minus 11, if you take a look already, this says 6x, this says 5x, so these are not the same thing. And then also this says minus 12 and this says minus 11, so that's also not the same thing. So we know that answer choice A will not work here. For option B, we have negative 18x, so that must have maybe come from trying to combine these two terms maybe. Uh, that would only come from a negative 6 and a negative 12 though. So for this negative 18x, we're also going to say that this does not work, um, just because it looks like we tried to combine like terms, um, but we did it incorrectly. And you also can't combine these like terms because notice that this 6x and this negative 12 are not like terms. One has a variable x and the other one is a constant term. For C, we have four times the quantity of x minus two plus this two x minus four. Let's go ahead and simplify this expression. Let's go ahead and distribute this four to both terms here. Uh, four times x, that's going to be four x. Four times negative two, that's gonna be a negative eight. And we have this plus two x and then minus four. If we go ahead and combine like terms here, this four x plus two x, that's gonna get us a total of six x. And then if we take this negative 8 and negative 4, if we combine those, that's going to be a negative 12. I'm just going to write minus 12 here. Now, notice how this 6x minus 12 does match this 6x minus 12 that we got over here. So we can say that we know these two expressions would be equivalent or they're the same value. For D, we have 6 times the quantity of this x minus 2. Using the distributive property, we can maybe rewrite this. So 6 multiplied by each of these terms here. 6 times x, that's going to be 6x. And then 6 times negative 2, that's going to be negative 12. So you can see here that this 6x minus 12 does match exactly what we had earlier. So this must work as well. So again, answer choice A doesn't work here because the coefficients don't match as well as the constant terms. For B, it looks like maybe we tried to combine like terms here, but they were not like terms. So that was done incorrectly, as well as the integer rules were done wrong as well. For answer choice C, if you went and distributed and combined like terms, you can see that these do, uh, this expression is equivalent. And for answer choice D, if you use just the distributive property, you can see that this expression is equivalent. And just to be consistent, I'm gonna go back to number one right now and just write 40x as well and just put an x there just so it's consistent with all the other problems. Here's one last example, let's check out number four. For number four, we have this original expression of three times the quantity of two x minus three plus eight times the quantity of two x minus three. So while you could go ahead and distribute right away and then combine like terms afterwards, uh, it's maybe helpful to notice that we have this two x minus three and two x minus three. Over here on the left side, we have three of these two x minus threes and we're adding eight more of them. So maybe a little bit of a shortcut. If you notice this, you can write three plus eight is 11. So we have 11 of these two x minus threes, okay? So that would be a pretty quick way of rewriting that expression. If you wanted to go ahead and distribute this out so that we just have a more simplified expression uh, that just has you know two terms here, 11 times two x would be 22 x and then 11 times that negative three would be negative 33. So this would be equivalent to what we had earlier, just a little bit simpler. 
So let's go ahead and see if answer choice A is equivalent or not. We have 17x minus 36 plus 5x plus 4, okay? If we go ahead and combine some like terms, 17x plus 5x, 17 plus 5 is 22. So we're going to get 22x, so far so good. And then we have this negative 36 plus 4. Negative 36 plus 4 is negative 32. We could write plus negative 32 or just write minus 32. Okay, so is this the same? Well, the 22x's do certainly match, that's good. However, if we look at negative 33 and negative 32, the constant terms do not. So this is not an equivalent expression. For answer choice B, we can look right away at this 11 times the quantity of 2x minus 3. And that's actually what we got over here when we simplified this a bit. So we know that this is, this is going to be the same. Um, if you want to go ahead and distribute this, though, we can go ahead and do that as well, just to practice. 11 times that 2x is going to be 22x, and 11 times negative 3 is going to be negative 33. So you can see here that this does match this expression that we had earlier, so this does make sense. For answer choice C, we have 6 times the quantity of 2x minus 3, plus 5 times the quantity of 2x minus 3. Using a shortcut here, we can definitely see that we have this 2x minus 3 and 2x minus 3. We have 6 of them plus 5 more of them, which means we will have 11 of them. So you could say right away that this does work because we showed here that we would have 11 of these 2x minus 3s. Um, but for the sake of just practicing it using a different method, in case that's a little bit confusing, is we could go ahead and just distribute here. So 6 times 2x would be 12x. 6 times negative 3 would be negative 18 plus, and then five times two X, that would be 10 X. And then this would be minus 15. So this is going to be 10 X and then minus 15. I'm just showing this uh, alternate route. If you'd like to see it combining this 12 X and 10 X, if we add their coefficients, 12 plus 10 is 22. So we're going to have 22 X. And then if we add these constants, we have negative 18 and negative 15. Uh, if we add negative 18 plus negative 15, that's going to be a negative 33, or we can write minus 33. So just as we predicted, this was going to work because it matches this expression here. But keep in mind, you can use that shortcut if you see it, where we have this quantity of 2x minus 3 in both locations. We have 6 of them plus 5 of them, which means we should have 11 of them, and that might save you a little bit of time in the future. Okay. Uh, for answer choice D, we have 4 times the quantity of this 2x minus 3 plus 16x minus 33. So what I'm going to do here is go ahead and distribute this 4 to both of these terms over here. 4 times 2x, that's going to be 8x. 4 times this uh, minus 3 is going to be minus 12. Then we have plus 16x and then minus 33. Okay, so we distribute first. Then we can go ahead and combine some like terms. So 8x plus 16x, that's going to be 24x, okay, if you combine those together. And then if you take this negative 12 and negative 33, those combine to make negative 45. So instead of writing plus negative 45, I'm just going to write minus 45. So is this the same as the original expression? Well, notice that we had 22x and now we have 24x, so the coefficients are not the same. And our constant term was negative 33, but here we have negative 45, so those are also not the same. So this expression is not equivalent, right? Just to recap here, if we go back to answer choice A, we had some uh, matching uh, coefficients here, so the 22x is matched really nicely. However, our constant terms did not match, so we can say that this is not an equivalent expression. For answer choice B, we did like the 22x minus 33 because that matched perfectly. So that means these must be equivalent expressions. For answer choice C, we can see that this also got us this 22x minus 33. So that one checks out as well. But when we looked at answer choice D, when we distributed and combined like terms, we got this 22x minus 45. It looks like both our coefficients of 22 and 24 didn't match, as well as our constant term of negative 33 and negative 45 did not match. So this would not be an equivalent expression. So there you have four different practice problems on checking to see if these algebraic expressions were equivalent or not. So hopefully you can practice using each of your uh, strategies for rewriting expressions, including the distributive property, maybe also combining like terms and simplifying expressions. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider giving the video a thumbs up. And as always, keep up the great work that you're already doing, and I'll see you in the next one.